Hi there, a while ago I uploaded a complete tutorial showing you exactly how to program a drum track from scratch in Reaper. Now the problem with the tutorial is that in it I use a drum kit that does not actually come with Reaper. Sorry about that, that's my bad, I didn't realise it was already installed on my computer because I've got some other software installed as well. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you where you could get a free drum kit from and show you how to set that up so that you can then follow the rest of the steps in the tutorial and program your first drum track. So let's head over to my computer and I will show you how to do that. So to get your free drum kit, step one is go to www.powerdrumkit.com and you'll find yourself on this page. You can watch the video and read all about this free drum kit. It is completely free and it's got some really good features. So all you need to do is go to the download now page, choose the right one for your operating system, install it. And once you come to activate it, you'll get this dialog box popping up you'll be given a computer ID which you type in here and then you can generate an activation key. It's really that simple. Now I installed it very quickly on the Mac and it was automatically put into the, the right place so that when I started up Reaper the next time, it automatically found the drum plugin. On Windows, you might have to manually put it in the VST plugins folder so that Reaper finds it. That's very straightforward. Once you've got that installed, you just need to go to Reaper and this is a completely vanilla installation of Reaper. And so the only plugin I have got installed on my computer now is that free power drum kit. So let's have a look at how we use it. I'm going to show you two different ways. First of all, you can go insert virtual instrument on new track and you get a dialog box that asks you which instrument you want. And I'm going to choose the VSTi MT power drum kit. So let's pick that. Now what it does is it pops up this dialog box asking about building the routing confirmation. Now in the first instance I recommend that you do not do this. Move on to that when you have got familiar with the basic operation of the drum and you want to do more things on more tracks. That's beyond the scope of this tutorial where I'm just trying to get you up and running. So let's say no and the next thing that will happen is you will see this dialog box and you can see now you've got this drum kit all ready to use. You can click each drum like that rather satisfyingly. You can use the virtual MIDI keyboard to play the various drums as you can see. You can also use your hardware MIDI keyboard or MIDI pad controller whatever you've got to connect it up and start playing. Um, let's have a look what else is on here. If we go to the mixer you'll see that all the drums have got their own individual panning. Now this is something that quite a few of you have been asking about in my last tutorial. So here it is very simple to pan each individual drum and also to adjust each level and to adjust the amount of compression on each drum. So that is a fantastic little feature here. So that's the mixer. And then look at this feature here. These are built-in grooves. And the great thing with the MT Power Drum Kit is that you can very quickly build up a whole drum track without actually even having to do any programming. So what you can do is build up a basic drum track and then start playing with it before you start programming your own, just to get familiar with it. Now, uh, you can pick various kinds of grooves and they come in groups. So let's pick the top set of grooves, the 4-4 four, four grooves in the 60 to 150 BPM category. And you'll see you have an intro and then a variety of different kinds of beats that you can pick. So let's go to the intro first and then you have a whole choice of 16 intros. So just randomly let's pick number 5 and we can audition it like this. Okay, so let's assume I like that one. I'll just drag that here, that simple. So now from the same group, let's choose a groove that we like. So you can choose any of these categories here, but let us I'm going to go for the eighth closed hi-hat and I'm going to pick groove number three just randomly. Let's just audition it. Okay, so I like that, so I'm going to put that here. That's going to give me three bars with that particular pattern. Then what I can do for the fourth bar is I can pick a fill. 
And because I've got this one selected, all these fills will go with that pattern. So I'm going to go for number nine. Let's listen to it. Okay, that will do. Let's put that one down there. Okay, so three and nine. Let's go for that again. Three and nine. So what it does is very quickly you can build up a three bar pattern and then a fill that goes with the pattern to make up a four bar sequence and repeat it or you could even change it if you wanted to. So once you have built up a, tr a, a sequence of grooves here and fills you can just simply drag the thing here and you automatically get all the MIDI events programmed into a MIDI track ready to play. How cool is that? It is so straightforward to do. But what you can do now is double click on this and this will take you to the MIDI editor where you can actually start playing around with the drum, drum beats even more. So this is probably where you'll want to refer to my other tutorial because now you've got that drum kit in, everything else I showed you is just the same. Now, I think it's going to be easier if you load the names of the drums here so that you can know what you, what drum you're getting on what note. So if you right click here and go File, Customize Note Names, Load Note Names for All Channels from File. If you then go over to my web page, I have actually made a drum map for this drum kit, which is just a little text file that you can upload and it changes all the names of the notes here so that they actually make some sense. So you know which key you hit on the keyboard. So if we go for C2, you can see that is a kick. So, um, and the same is true of all the other drums that are listed here. So that's really helpful if you want to use this virtual keyboard or if you want to use your hardware MIDI controller, you know which notes to hit and what you're gonna get. And it also helps you when you're moving the um, beats around here. So that's a very simple and quick way of building up a pattern that you can then embellish, delete bits from, add bits to. Very straightforward. So let's have a look at a different, what, what else we could do. So I'm going to actually mute that and I'm going to insert a virtual instrument on a new track, go through the same thing again, use the drum kit again, say no again, Okay, and so I've got the drum kit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my own four bar sequence like that, and I'm going to insert a new MIDI item. And so what this will do is it'll just insert a blank block that if I double click, I can then start programming my own drums here from scratch, just like I did in the other tutorial. So I'm going to load the note names again. So if you remember, you right click here, File, Customize Note Names, Load Note Names for All Channels from File, and I'll choose this file. Like I say, go and get it from my website. Got the names here. So let's say I want to have a kick drum on each beat of the bar. So what I can do now is I can just start double clicking on the beats. Oh, it's So what I could do is I could uh, copy those and then I could paste them and paste them again. So let's just audition that. What I'll do is I'll put it on loop so that it just loops around and play. And so on. I could keep building at the drum trucks like that. So, so this is what I suggest you do if you're going to follow these tutorials. Number one, go and get the free drum kit. Number two, go to my website and get the drum map so that you can name the notes like that. Number three, follow the other tutorial now. And instead of using the drum kit that I used there, which was the Cakewalk TTS one, you can now use this drum kit as well. And everything else is the same. And finally, I really recommend that once you have got the hang of programming drums, you do go and investigate buying that ebook on programming drum tracks because it is really fantastic. You can program drums in any genre Chris shows you very carefully how to build up different kinds of patterns. It's really good fun. 
and it will accelerate all your learning about drum playing in general and MIDI programming in particular. So thanks for watching and I hope that has really helped you out.